This is the segment I have been waiting for yeah, buddy. all day. Yeah, we both Boom. have. We both have. Uh, <laughs> uh, to my left, Malik, and also to my left, Loey from Square Enix. Everybody, let's give Loey a round of applause. This is her first <laughs> live segment for uh, first D3. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you. you will do fine. It does not matter what you say right now. I have faith in her. She'll we're, be fine. Yeah, we are yeah. talking about Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, which was recently revealed. It's coming to PS4. Loey, before we get into, you know, in deep with it, tell yeah. me a little bit about just generally what the game is all about. So what's different is that it's actually three versus three. And what that means is you're not playing the three characters. You're playing one character. You have your team. They're going to select their characters, and you're going to go defeat the other opponents, which is also a team of three. So it's yeah. very different, but and, it's very cool. And this is a huge difference from the original PSP games, right. which both yeah. Malik and I right. are huge yeah. fans yeah. of, because those were pretty much one-on-one -on -one all the time. Yeah. This introduces just a whole new layer of strategy, right? Absolutely. And teamwork. You got to have teamwork for this one. Right. So I, I, I want to ask a quick question just about the name. What does NT stand for? It stands for New Tail. New Tail. Wait, oh, really? <laughs> it does, because a lot of people were saying it was Team Ninja backwards. And I was like, oh. that makes no sense to me at all. I've actually heard that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it, it stands for New Tail. New Tail. All right, we got it right here. I, I, uh, another PlayStation exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Loey, well, I know we, we have not revealed a lot of the villains that are going to be in this yet. I'm going to assume that there are villains in this oh, game. Oh, of course, yeah. But uh, a little bit, tell us a little bit about the characters, because there's a lot of familiar faces oh, in yeah. There is, right absolutely. Now. Oh, yeah, there's Tita's right there. So the gameplay and the characters, you're going to have the house of all the most iconic heroes and villains from the franchise. I'm dying personally to play Sephiroth. I know a lot of people are yes. too. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, definitely there will be villains. Excellent. Sephiroth and Sephiroth. the uh, another big thing that's kind of different with this version of the game is that you guys have a class system in place now, yeah. right? So all the heroes and maybe villains <laughs> fall into classes that right. kind of categorize what sort of fighter they are. Yep. Yeah. Right. So you have your Vanguard who are heavy hitters. They're kind of slower on the slower end, and then you have your assassins who are very very fast and they can double jump. And right. then you've got your marksmen. They're for long range attacks, and then you have specialists who are special in their own way. Right, right. Yeah. Do you have any favorites of the classes? <laughs> uh, I have to say I love Assassin. Okay. Just right. because for that speed, you can right. dodge quickly, you can attack. Yeah. That was Wallace? Is he Assassin? Wallace is an Assassin. I love it. Yeah. I was playing him yesterday. That was the one I, I felt resonated the most Ooh, with me. Yeah, he yeah. is fast. Yeah. So how, how do you go about choosing your team? Uh, is, is it just... You just choose your one character and your team's kind of auto-assembled, or? They do, but I mean, you can uh, communicate with your team. And I personally, if I could have a perfect team, I would want it to be well-balanced. Right. So I would want maybe a Vanguard, an Assassin, and someone who has long-range capabilities. Right, so you can get the, you can pick with class. Right. Gotcha, right. Yeah, and that's one, that's something to note, because obviously, Dissidia has, you know, a single player, like where you're playing offline, but you also have online play, and that right. means that me and Malik and maybe Meredith can all jump in, be playing that together online, or me. right? Or me. <laughs> okay. I figured you'd be busy, you know, working on the game. Right. right. Always have time to play Dissidia. Right, right. Yeah, and there's a summoning system in this game, too. Oh, yeah. The moment that you say Final Fantasy summons, I'm already in, but tell <laughs> right. me a little bit about how that system works. So you get to select your summon, and then once you select the summon, once you're in the arena, the summoning cores will appear randomly. You attack it, it'll build up that meter, and then once the meter's full, you and your team press the touch pad, and then you'll be able to summon it. Easy. Right. And who do we got? Who are some classics? Oh, you've that we got did? some greatest classics. I love Shiva personally, but you've got Ifri, Ramu, you've got Odin, you've got all the classics. Ooh, I'm more of like Odin, an Alexander yeah, guy, dude. Yeah. Alexander? Yeah, because like when I was like, oh, this is all a giant holy robot. Like, what, what is, like who came up with that? Like he shoots like crazy yeah, like, right. laser beams and like the ground explodes. And I was like, at that point, I was in love ever since then. Right, right. Four or six. I'm going to have the whole internet go after me because I don't remember. You better be careful with that, man. <laughs> I know, I know. No, right no, there, dude, man. I understand. Trust me. Right, right. But I, I, as I was telling Loey before when we were playing the game for the first time, one of my tattoos is Dissidia related. Oh, so, right. I mean, I'm, right. oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hardcore. Yeah. 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 I, yeah so, go ahead. One thing I liked about the, the order of the city is with some of the customization. And uh, so can you tell us a little bit about all the elements that you'll be able to customize. Are there any customizable move sets or anything like that? Absolutely. So there's this thing called the EX skill. So basically in the demo that we have right now, it's preset between A and B. But once you actually have the game, you'll be able to customize how you want to use your EX skills. Some of them have HP regen, bravery regen, and the other ones are about how you want to attack. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Or And, of course, there's a lot of balance between different skills, right? So you were saying that some of the characters like way, way more long-range long range. focus right. than, yeah. than melee focus. So yeah, right, right. Yeah, very cool. All right, so I got a, I got a 
bit of a curveball I'm going to throw at you here oh, on the no, screen. Oh, no, curveball? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not much of a curveball. <laughs> so uh, what is your dream team of three Final Fantasy heroes? Ooh, yeah. that is so hard. But like I said, I kind of want a balanced team. Okay. So I'll definitely have to choose Cloud. Cloud is Bay. Cloud is Bay. My <laughs> Bay. Okay. All right. All and right. then I you've thought... got Lightning, who's an assassin, so she's quick. And then probably Ashola, because she's a marksman, so she has long range capabilities to help you in the match. I thought you okay. were a Sephiroth fan, though. I was. Yeah. I okay. was. Okay. But you balance. But balance. Okay. okay. It's kind of hard to balance. balance with Sephiroth, I would feel. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. But probably difficult. Yeah, can I wonder if we'll be able to put Cloud and Sephiroth on the same team Ooh, together. I would that love seems, to see that. That's a lot of workplace tension that you just don't uh, want to be around. Exactly. I don't right? want to be around that water cooler talk at all. Yeah. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about, because there's a couple environments we were seeing in the footage. Yeah. So there's, of course, a lot of recognizable Final Fantasy locales as well. Yeah, so my personal favorite is the set from Final Fantasy X. I love that. Uh, Midgar's back. So all the like all the most amazing, beautiful stages are back too, and we could possibly be adding more as well. And there's some environmental strategy too, because you know Dissidia, especially the PSP games, were a lot about positioning too, because that's one of the things I actually like. You may disagree because you're a fighting game fanatic, but I like <laughs> I like that when positioning plays a big part in battle, right? Oh, because I think totally, you like like what well, there's like mountains and stuff in the original yes. Dissidia that you kind of had to figure out where you were, and right. it's very vertical as well. Right. Yes. I mean, like, that strategy must be hard to keep yeah, straight there, in no, your head. Well, you but. have the 3D environment, and then on top of that, you have a little map on the right-hand corner, so that definitely helps out, too. Right, right. Okay, good, can I can't keep track. <laughs> I know, right? It's, 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 there's a lot going. <laughs> I know, there's can, so much. Can you tell us a little bit about the basic movement in this game, like the dashing and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, so what we have is a bravery combat system. It's very unique. What you have to do first is accumulate the battery uh, bravery, and then once you can do that, you attack with your bravery points, right. which was what you see here. Right. So oh, yeah, I totally, <laughs> we didn't even like talk about the, the gameplay that's happening right behind. I'm glad gameplay. that you uh, brought it up. No, <laughs> you asked about bravery, because, yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like totally a risk reward system in this game. Yeah. And that's like, again, with the PSP games, it's like you can build up a ton of bravery, but if you lose it, Exactly. It's like it's all you gone. You have to know exactly when to use it. And then when your bravery points are glowing purple, you know you have fatal bravery. So once you attack your opponent, you automatically de defeat them. Right, awesome. right. Final questions before we wrap? One more thing. How far do you see this game going competitively? Possibly maybe making it to like a EVO fighting game championship one day, <laughs> maybe? I actually have no idea. So many people have asked me. They love to spectate. So right. I really hope that maybe we could have a chance in that. Well, I know Arcade was a big hit. So I think it's possible for hey. sure. You, you, you've put your vote in. You've made your voice Let's heard. make it happen. Let's yeah. make it happen, guys. Um, make it happen. Loey, I really appreciate you being on the show. Do you have a yeah. parting message for uh, Final Fantasy fans the world Absolutely. over? Absolutely. You guys should definitely come check out the demo. We have it on the show floor all week. PlayStation.